Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Tom and together we are getting into RC and 3D. Today I will walk you through the process of making this uh, artillery Sidewinder X1 action camera mount that's moving together with a printing bed. The idea was that the action camera could move together with the bed so the footage is more steady and less shaky and it just looks better. So I decided to mount the camera holder below the heated bed. There are four arms holding the bed with four screws to level it up. There is a small gap like literally two centimeters that we can easily slide the mount onto. To make it easier I will show you one of the prototypes this is the mount that I'm sliding it to the arm below the heated bed. Back to the prototypes. This is the first part I was using. And as you can see, it's damaged. Why? Well, the idea was to put this one on the corner, not in the middle as it is right now. So it was slided right here beneath the heated bed. And then there was a second part that was slided into it. So it looked something like this. I thought it was a great idea, but of course, looks like I miscalculated. And the first try I've used it, it moved like this. That's why it's cracked. This one wasn't working, obviously. So then some more calculations and measurements and we're with the prototype number two. I've made it this time from two parts. So basically it's like the same part mirrored. So I can use two mounts this time. So I assumed it will be less shaky even more. And actually it was. But the thing is it was a bit too close to the bed. Uh, again, I thought it's fine. But when you move the bed all the way to the front, there is a tiny, tiny gap between the extruder and the mount. With the old mount, there was no gap at all. It was something like this. Let me show you. So obviously it wasn't working. I mean, it was because usually the print I was printing was in the middle. So it, as you can see, this one is not damaged, but yeah, you know, one of those days it will either hopefully crack itself or worse damage the extruder and that would be a disaster. Okay. And finally, the prototype number two, which is not the final version, of course, but it's working. It's working pretty good. I've made it much more sturdier. I have added this arm right here from this top. So this part is much more thicker. And also I've managed to design it without these sharp corners, you know this one it's just one long part just curved so it it kind of looks nice honestly okay and there is just on top of it this rectangle part which is holding the standard action camera mount on top let me show you the view from the action camera mounted on it So as you can see, it slides with the heated bed. It's, I mean, if it was like, let's say, uh, GoPro Hero 8, it would have been much less shaky because of the inbuilt image stabilization, but this cheap Aiken camera doesn't have it, so nothing I can do about it. 
I'm trying to stabilize it in DaVinci Resolve, but it's not working that good with the time-lapse photos. There is one more thing I'm going to change. There is still not enough space between the extruder and the camera holder. Like, it has to be 4 millimeters more, literally 4 millimeters. And now it's barely sliding next to it, but you know, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? So I will design one more model and this one should be final.